Take action immediately. Hello and welcome. My name is Gino Barbaro, one of the co-founders of Jake and Gino. And in this how-to video, I really wanna discuss the seven steps to goal setting. Now, as you may know or may not know, I have six children. We homeschool our kids. I have multiple businesses. I'm a busy person, as are you who are listening to this podcast. We all lead busy lives. We all have the same amount of time at our disposal. What is it, 168 hours in a week? Why is it that some people get things accomplished and others don't? Well, let me lay it out to you in these seven steps. What I've learned, this is over the years, and I've you know listened to Zim, you know, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rome, Tony Robbins, and I've pulled out things from them. And one that I really, truly like is James Clear. His book, Atomic Habits, really discusses goal setting. And for me, it's been an evolution. I was always thinking about setting goals and getting something done. What I ultimately realized is goal setting and goals themselves are the result, right? I want to lose weight. I want to buy my first multifamily property. That's really the result. You need to set up a system or a process that you're going to fall in love with to ultimately hit the goal. And what I love what Tony Robbins says about goals, once you hit the goal, it's great. But when you think about setting goals, what really should be in your mind and what I'm trying to aspire to is what is the kind of person that you need to become or grow into in order to hit that goal. That's what I try to accomplish now when I'm setting goals. I'm trying to see the kind of person that I need to become or grow into to hit the goal. So the first one of the seven steps, decide what your goals or your objectives are. And this may seem so easy and so intuitive, but I remember when I was at the restaurant all those years ago struggling, if someone had asked me, Gino, what do you want? I would have said to them, I don't wanna be here. And they would have tapped me on the shoulder and said, Gino, what? do you want? I think clarity and an understanding of what you want will allow you to set the goal a lot easier. So focus on what you want. And you know, the second one would be, as you're doing that, I didn't understand how important values were in setting goals. Set up what and write down what your values are. I was fortunate in this because when I met Jake, our values truly aligned. And it was so important that that happened. And the values piece is important. Understand what your what your values are. For me, it was integrity. It was hard work. It was commitment. It was responsibility, long-termism. Once you align your values with your goals, if you hit those goals and they're values-based, they will be so much more powerful. The third one is write down the goal. What is it that you want to achieve? I want to buy my first multifamily property or I want to buy two deals this year. Write it down. This next one, set a deadline. Put a deadline. And once you have that deadline there, what it does is it really holds you to the accountability of getting it done. You know, whenever you see these negotiations going on with these auto workers or these people who are striking, nothing gets done, it seems like, the first 29 days. But on the night of or the eve of, that deadline puts pressure. And all of a sudden, we start working. Now, I would want to really have some type of sidebar here and saying, let's set the deadline, but let's also have some type of accountability. For me, I was fortunate early on. I had Jake as that accountability partner. I mean, that's why we created the Jake and Gino community. There's so much education out there. There's so much knowledge out there. Great. But there's two things that separate us as a company. We help you implement the information and we hold you accountable with coaches and with the community. So setting a deadline by December 31st to buy my first multifamily property, I don't want you to wait till December 15th to get going. We're gonna help you start implementing day one and having you have those accountability partners to get you going. Now the next one, number five, list all the activities needed to achieve the goal. That may seem pretty simple and pretty basic, but a goal is going to be a priority. Anything that takes you more than eight hours to accomplish, you need to start chunking it down into tasks. So if your first deal, for instance, is to buy your first multifamily, well, what are all the activities that you need? Well, the first thing obviously is to pick a market. 
Where are you going to start looking to buy these multifamilies? The next one is what are your goals in multifamily? You know, what are your investor goals? Do you want to buy a hundred units? Do you want to buy a, a duplex? Do you want a house hack? Do you want to go in and syndicate, raise money for your first deal? Do you want to do a JV partnership? Do you want to do seller financing? Understanding what you're trying to accomplish is so important. Now, the next one after that, you've got your market, you've got your goals. The next activity would be, let's start meeting brokers. Let's start connecting with the people who have these deals. After that, you see the activities, you see the process that I'm building out. And at Jake and Gino, we have this process for you to get your first deal or to get your next deal. It's about buy right, manage right, and finance right. Those are all the activities that you need to achieve the goal. If you don't have those listed out and you don't have the plan, great. You've decided what you want. You've written it down. You have a deadline. But if you know all the activities, if you don't know that process to hit the goal, it's for naught. It's for nothing. After that, organize your goals into a plan by priority and sequence. What do you need to get done in order to hit that goal? And it's really interesting. In multifamily, you're always sourcing for deals and you're sourcing for capital. So your, your, your goals, that priority is really getting into those relationships. I think Stephen Covey says it best in his quadrant, you know, do things that are not urgent, but truly important. And in multifamily and in business, that really is building relationships. That's educating yourself. That's getting on brokers lists. That's doing property tours. Those are the most important things that you're going to need to do to hit the goal of getting that first deal. Now I'm pulling this all back to multifamily and please forgive me if you're not in that frame of mind, you're trying to do something on a personal level. It's the same thing. You're organizing your goals into what is you need to prioritize and you, you need and put it into a sequence. Now the, the next one, the last one is and it may seem obvious, take action immediately. This is why students who join the Jake and Gino community already have the education, they're getting the implementation, but they're taking action immediately through their coaching, through coming to the events. We just had a buy right boot camp in Jacksonville. We had 70 students there. They walked away energized. They walked away with next steps. They walked away with the networking, with the accountability. They know what they need to do Monday morning to hit the ground running to implement that process. And I think 7.1, this is truly important. This is the last step I'll give to you as far as goal setting goes. And I think this is truly important. Use every day to do something towards achieving your goal. It may be one video if you're in multifamily to watch. It may call be calling one broker. It may be watching one lesson. It may be calling one investor. It may be just underwriting a deal. Whatever it is, try to use every day to do something. There was a meme running around, you know, social media saying that if you spend 18 minutes a day working on a craft, by the end of the year, I don't know how many hours that is, but you'll be ahead of 95% of the population. Do you see how you chunk down the goals and create the process and the framework to do that? It's, it's amazing when you start chunking things down and you start writing things down and you start prioritizing and sequencing them, you won't feel so overwhelmed. Behaviors are belief driven. If you believe that you can do something, you will take the actions and laying them out and feeling decluttered will ultimately allow you to set those goals and take action with those goals. I'm gonna leave you with the most important thing for me for goal setting. It is the accountability piece. I had tried to go into real estate by myself. I called it life before Jake and life before Jake was a roller coaster. My first deal actually was pretty good. It was, it was beginner's luck. I bought a triplex, did great with that. I owned that property for 20 years, but from there it was all downhill. I had no process, I had no framework, I really had no goals. I wasn't clear. When I ultimately made enough mistakes and I met Jake, the goal for me was just to buy the first property with Jake. Did it happen overnight? Absolutely not. It took us 18 months. But having clarity, being able to write down the goals, being able to be clear, organize what we needed to do to get that first multifamily property, that's why we ultimately pulled it through. We didn't feel cluttered 
and that accountability was huge. I had a partner who thought like me, who had very similar values, who wanted to become financially free through this vehicle of multifamily. And from there, ever since then, we do quarterly priorities with our companies. Every quarter we have goals. And at the end of the year, we look at those goals, we measure them, how we've done, and we continue to get along. And this is not about beating ourselves up and saying we didn't hit that goal. It's okay. You may not follow through on all of the goals that you've written down, but ultimately it's the person that you're becoming as you're going towards your goals. Listen, thank you for listening here on this how-to, and we will see you on the next how-to. Good luck with goal setting, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll never miss another episode.